Caviar, an expensive delicacy that has been around for hundreds of years, is strictly defined as the salt-cured rose of sturgeons, and we are studying Ocetra caviar, which comes from the Russian sturgeon. Sturgeons are widely recognized as endangered throughout the world. However, there remains a strong market demand for Ocetra caviar, which has led to its production by aquaculture. North Carolina Ocetra caviar, while delicious, is valued at a fraction of the price of international varieties. It may be that consumers desire particular subtle flavors in foreign caviars. Because caviar is salt cured, it is a living food. Raw sturgeon roe is mixed with salt and then allowed to age. The exact process is a trade secret. We are using scientific detective work to emulate and optimize this process. We have assembled a diverse collection of Ocetra caviars from around the world that retail from $60 an ounce to almost $600 an ounce. One aspect of our project is to characterize the microbial communities present in caviars using metagenomics. We have identified considerable variation in caviar microbial communities and we are working to understand these relationships along with other characteristics of the caviars, such as pH and osmolality. By understanding the ecology of these microorganisms, we can uncover the conditions for optimally growing them, which will provide a blueprint for how to best salt and age caviars here in North Carolina. We have already discovered an organism that is more common in the most expensive varieties. Now to grow it, study it, and to use this information to make better caviar.